Okay, guys, I am going to do a DIY. I seen it on, um, I don't know if it's Facebook, Instagram, whatever I was looking at. And it might have been YouTube. And I had these already. I don't know if I have any more. But I got them at a yard sale or something. Probably got a quarter. I don't know. But I'm going to spray paint these. I'm going to spray paint one blue, that blue right there, and one red. And that I got at a yard sale for wasn't worth two bucks, but it's made out of wood. So I'm going to spray paint that. It's some kind of Christmas clay. And then over here, I have a mess. I have some fairies I'm going to use for this fairy garden. So I'm making a fairy garden and a bird bath. And I think I'm going to use this for the bird bath. And I got some, got this whole thing of stones and stuff for 50 cents. And I think I'm going to put those in the bottom instead of spray paint that. I got this out of yard sale too, so I'm going to use that for something. And then my plates I got for DIYing. I got this cute little bag. It has nothing to do with it for my purse. But anyways, this is a DIY project. So I'm going to go spray paint. I guess I can set up my phone on my other thing so you can see. It, I'm just going to spray paint. It's a little windy. so And it's kind of hard when you spray paint stuff like that because, you know, it's... Anyway, I'll show you. Okay, guys, I hope you can see me good enough. And I hope I don't get spray paint all over my clothes. I didn't change. Okay. Got one for the bird bath. It's probably the best one. I want the bird bath to be deeper. Oh, well, this one is pretty much deeper. I think the taller one. Okay. So I'll make the taller one red, but the small one blue. You just lose so much paint because you're doing something skinny like this and there's no yeah. anyway. And this is just an old picture of my painting table, so it doesn't matter. Like if you look at it, I used it last year. I'll try to turn it because I go over there, I'm just gonna spray paint myself because the wind's going that way. I want to show the camera too. You gotta turn it to make sure you get all your spots. Yeah, and this paint's like five dollars a can now. It's like five bucks for this. You gotta do all the sides and you gotta go through and check because. I was going that way. Hmm. The wind's just going every which way today. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to want that red, right? Because I'm doing the bird bath, and that's going to be that. I have to paint the bottom of that blue, I think. So it matches it. Let me get that. dry until tomorrow before I put it together so you guys will see it all tomorrow and then if I if it dries weird then I'll have to give it another coat okay there's the blue one I won't leave this out I'll put this away because I don't want any sun but this one's gonna be red so I think I should move that I don't want the red paint to go that way I'll figure out where I want to fit it. And then we'll spray paint it. Okay, let's see. 
I think I'm just going to spray paint it right over this way. Maybe somewhere where there's, it's not going to affect the grass. You can see my yard. Um, I see a bald spot. I can go put it over there. Let's go over here. We're just definitely going to do red. Okay, right there is where the little kiddie pool was all winter. So I did not do that. So this is going to be red. And then this is going to be red. So I'm going to this first. You know, you could do this as a fairy garden for a while and then you could switch it to a bird feeder. It's just, you got cats and stuff, you don't want your bird feeder too low to the ground. Their captive. I'll let that dry and then tomorrow I'll check. I'm going to spray paint this. I'm trying to do it on the table. But mm, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Let me just see. Try to make it so the wind's not coming at me. I don't know. I'm going to have to flip it, but then this is where I really want to cover the stuff on this side. And I had like a Christmas tree or something. I don't want that on there. Even though I'm covering it with something else for the fairy garden. So I'm going to have to finish all of this in a different spot because I can't hold on to it and do that spot too. But it has to dry somewhere. Okay guys, keep watching. Okay guys, I was just finishing up my DIYs. There's a little fairy garden I made. See, that's what I did and I just had the wooden plate I got from the yard sale for $2 and this one I had at home already and then I had the little fairy stuff already so I think that turned out pretty cute and I'll show you my bird bath and then I'll go set them somewhere and show you that okay here's the bird bath it's all painted and I put in the rocks and now I'm gonna go set it up This is where I decided to put them. Here's my helper to that. There's a little fairy garden. Got other statues in here. This is um, garlic chives. I got some tulips still going. And there's my little bird bath. Every year they come back and have babies in that one. It needs to be cleaned out. There used to be one over here. But it's over there now because we took it out. I need to put all my birdhouses up over there. All over there. My um, uncle got those. I gotta I wanna decorate them and put them up. Anyways, there it is. From this view. And here it is from this view. And you're walking up to it. I think it's super cute. It turned out like I better than I thought. It looks so cute, doesn't it? And then the bird bath with natural rocks in it. I guess it looks pretty. This rock right here is shaped like a heart. It's right there. Very pretty. Okay. There we go. That's my DIY for today. These are my flowers I'm gonna plant on the other side of the yard. So it's out of my DIY thing here, but the privacy fence way over there. I want to paint, I want to plant over there. So I think this one's got 
a lot right now. They're going to be blooming, you know, June, July or something. Okay, guys, you pray for me. I pray for you. Pray for the world. And everybody have a blessed day. Bye, guys.